Hi, uh, this is Daniel Pulisic with the VMware Cloud Provider Solutions Engineering Team. I'm here today to talk about the new release, uh, vCloud Director 9.5, uh, what's new from a tech uh, perspective. I'm going to break this into three different uh, small videos. Uh, first one we're going to talk about is the UI. We'll talk about networking next, and then we'll talk about some of the new management uh, functionality uh, within uh, 9.5. So to start off, the UI continues to evolve and we're migrating to uh, the new H5 Clarity UI. Some of the new features within uh, 9.5 is really adding on to the 9X code train. We have uh, the context switching menu, um, as uh, many of you have seen. But one of the new things that we've added in here now is a task menu, but also a ribbon that shows my overall uh, utilization of all of my connected uh, instances. So one of the concepts within vCloud Director 9X is the ability to federate out if I had Atlanta location, my Raleigh location, and maybe my Phoenix location, I can federate all my vCloud Director instances from one single UI and see each of my o, uh, org VDCs associated with um, each of my sites. from one single pane of glass. So adding on to this, uh, you know, the ability to actually have a single pane of glass to manage from a UI is very important, so we're not console hopping between the different sites. Uh, one of the nice additions to 9.5 now is also plugin uh, capabilities. So 9.5 introduced our Cloud to Cloud uh, plugin. Uh, we also have our partnership with EMC Data Protection, so we have a data protection plugin now. And we also have the vRealize Operations tenant app plugin all here embedded inside of the vCloud Director UI. Uh, this is again plug and play managed from the organization administrator. So if we want to only provide this to certain tenants, uh, that is capable of doing that and mask them from others uh, based off of that. Moreover, we also introduced, and we'll talk about this shortly, is uh, data center groups for multi-site networking and also support for independent disk and managing that uh, from there. All right, next up, we'll talk about networking.